What's up, siblings? So, I feel real bad that I haven't made my video in, like, two weeks. And I don't really have any excuse for it because, you know, these aren't that difficult to make. So, I guess the only thing I can say to you guys is... But anyways, let us get down to the fun stuff. For the challenges, these were interesting challenges this week or month. Let's see, Roxanne's challenge. That was pretty easy. It looked kind of weird, and the, the high-pitched voices were the funniest part. But, you know, I was more intrigued about what you were watching. I was like, oh, my sister, she's about to be sad and cry. I kind of, I kind of felt a little, little sad for you. Steven's challenge. I didn't enter a contest per se, but there's this bar in Orlando called Player One, where they have people just sitting around playing Super Smash Brothers. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna chill out with these people and play Super Smash Brothers and see what I can do. Turns out I got my ass kicked, uh, and it wasn't really tournament style, but I played a good bit and I won some and I lost some. But I wasn't like, yeah, I'm a champion because I felt like shit. The original contest that I was going to enter in was a costume contest at Dragon Con where I was Little Mac and Kristen was Sailor Moon and it was going to be so freaking cool. But we got there too late and apparently you had to be there like all day to enter into this contest, which makes no freaking sense. Sorry. Simon's challenge. Discuss your beliefs or religion. Okay, I don't think I've been as religious as most of the other individuals in our family. I don't know. I've had like stuff here and there, and <sighs> things have come and gone. Let me just let me just try to break it down as simple as possible. I believe that there is a higher power being other than we're just chilling on Earth on a big blue ball in the middle of space, just doing our own thing. I feel like there is something else. Uh, and I believe there are good and evil forces to this because of the thing that really solidifies this for me was uh, my belief in exorcisms. I believe exorcisms are completely real and people can get possessed by demons, which are just the most evil creatures on the planet. Like, they're not human spirits from the other world or ghosts or whatever they're the actual incarnate evil possess humans and give them supernatural strength and make them speak in tongues and words that they wouldn't have known otherwise and nobody can understand it uh however each of these exorcisms are documented in one way or another and so it's kind of hard to disprove that that side of it exists and if i think that that side of it exists the evil bad malicious side there has to be a good more holy side to it as far as the bible is concerned i believe the bible in general could have and most likely have been edited and reworked and there's probably a lot of changes that have the bible has gone through throughout the years since it's changed so many hands and so many people have uh, had their influences on it. Do I believe that every word in the Bible is correct? No. Do I believe it's pretty good guidelines to live your life? Yes. However, I think it, it, it has been and still is being misused and interpreted in ways that 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 kind of conflict with the grand dole teaching of like love everyone and just be good and stop worrying so much about everybody else. So I don't really have like an established religion as of right now. I don't have like a church that I go to or like, oh, I can claim to be this specific division of religion. Uh, I don't have that. I just kind of do my thing and try to be as good as possible. However, that being said, Pope Francis gives me, he gives me a lot of faith in where religion is going right now. Because he's starting to introduce new radical ideas that uh, have, 
don't know, they haven't been challenged for a long time. And he's just like, look, you got to rethink this whole thing. You know, like, I know we're the oldest church in history, but you got to rethink the way we look at this problem and this problem and this problem. And he's, I don't know, he's, he's using this incredible blend of religious belief, but practical application. Uh, and so I've been following his um, movements and uh, I've been following what he's been saying and stuff for a while. And I think he's an incredible person. Uh, I think he can really breathe a lot of life into this negative look on organized religion. I think there's a lot of bad connotations that come with religion and Catholicism and Christians. You know, people that aren't Christians and Catholics, they they hear those words and they're like, wow, um, you guys hate gays and, you know, don't want women's rights and blah, 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 blah. And I don't think that's necessarily true for all Christians or Catholics. And I think Pope Francis is using a more, a more universal approach to uh, the word. Good job, Pope Francis. Okay, let's talk about me for a little bit because you haven't heard anything about me for a while. I've just been doing my thing uh, at Disney, you know, just still being a character performer. I got trained as a face character the other day. Uh, and that was really cool. It's nerve-wracking. My life literally consists of me being paid to be a performer. That's all I do. I perform at Disney. I perform birthday parties. And that's, I dress up in costume and get paid for a living. That's it. Like, that's pretty cool. Uh, I know it's going to get old. I can I can feel it getting old for me. Because, you know, there's just more things I'm going to want to do with my life than just dress up in costume and make people happy. But it's so much fun to to experience that. Let's see, what else have I been up to? Money struggles. Ain't got enough dough. Let me think. MJ, what else have I done? I don't know. You... Hi, guys. Um, <clears throat> what have you done? You've been anime. Have you talked about that already? I watched Princess Jellyfish, Akame Got Kill, Cowboy Bebop. Alrighty. She's just been chilling lately. <laughs> I think. Yeah, kind of. I've been playing a lot of video games. Disney's great, but I've been to the parks so many times, I've kind of lost some interest in going to the parks. Uh, just to go, like... On my off days, it's not like, oh, let me get up and go to the Disney parks because that's going to be so much fun. It's like, oh, I've already done everything there. But mom and dad are coming in this week and that's going to be freaking awesome. So now on to my challenge. Now, this is only going to work if everybody has something to something that has video recording capabilities. I know Simon and uh, Steven do, and I'm pretty sure you do too, Roxanne. And if you don't, then we'll just get creative. Something that I do, you guys all know this is I film videos every day. Uh, can be something little, can be something big, can be something that kind of just symbolizes what my day is like. Maybe I'm just driving a lot all day, so I'll have a video of me driving, which isn't necessarily safe. But whatever, I just do it anyways. So yeah, I take videos of random things. Maybe it'll be a friend that I'm with that day who surprised me and it's like, wow, uh, I really want to remember being with this friend th this day. Or maybe I'll film a uh, video game I played for a while, you know, that's cool too. Maybe I'll film me cooking up a really awesome dish, or maybe Kristen and I went out on a date, or we're just hanging out and she does something silly or stupid, and I'm like, oh, this is really cute, I'm going to film it. Um, I want you guys to film, I want you guys to film October. Don't wait all day until the night, and you, then you're like, oh gosh, I don't have anything, let me just film the moon you know you don't want to just film something just because you have to have something that day which is something i learned the hard way uh if something slightly interesting happens film it it'll it might be end up being your video it might not something else cooler might happen later in the day i know you guys say you kind of have boring uh mundane lives like not a lot happens but i beg to differ i used to think that too and then I would just start filming these things 
and it kind of turns into this interesting compilation. And if you do have a boring, mundane life, like Steven, you say you edit film all the freaking time, like 12 hours a day. Steven, maybe you can film one second snippets that turn into like a larger picture of something. Like you do something this day that turns into this day that turns into this day. And each second, instead of being broken up into random segments, actually have more of a story to tell than, uh, <laughs> than you know, just like random things that happen throughout your life. Uh, but I want you guys to try it because this is something that I do every year. I'm going to do it every year, probably forever, until I don't have a phone anymore that I can film videos. And I want you guys to try it out and see what you get. So speaking of one second videos, I'll show you a snippet of what I have in store for this year. Yeah. You say you got me, but you don't. You say you need me, but you won't. No, no, you say, you say, you say, you say anything you want. If I say yeah, I'm here to stay. You say now, nah, boy, don't run away. When all is said but not is done, I really hope I make it. I can't make you smile on the inside You know I'll make it there You know I'll make it there yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah You say you got me but you don't You say you need me but you won't You say, you say, you say Anything you want You don't, you say you need me, but you won't You say, you say, you say, oh I put my hands around your waist You say, now nah, boy, you're in disgrace You say you got me, but I don't think so And now my heart is left for two You take that part I left for you You take that part I left for you But I don't know Anymore now. Hey, 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 sorry. I pick you up, you let me down. My face is straight, you mess around. When all is done, but none is found. I really hope I make it now. Anyways, I love you guys. You're wonderful. Thanks for putting up with me and not being on top of the game. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video that you make.